We had compared the DNA to many of her friends, old boyfriends, friends of friends. But it could be any of those now. 15 years ago today, Brittany Phillips was buried after being found raped and murdered in her South Tulsa apartment complex. That case has never been solved, and it took a big step backward recently when detectives learned the DNA found at the scene that they always thought belonged to the killer does not. New at 5, News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulbright explains where that leaves the case now. Brittany's mother, Maggie, says there's been a lot of confusion since police announced the DNA found at the scene belongs to someone who is not a suspect, which means with no DNA in this case now, tips are more important than ever to solve this case. They found DNA on the sheet from semen that matched also a slight small sample of um, blood. So the DNA being two sources from the same person, logically they thought that was the killer. The DNA from the scene was used to create a composite sketch of what the suspect might look like. We got 100 tips just within two days. Detectives say one of those tips led them to a man and they got his DNA and compared it to the DNA from the scene and it was a match. And for a brief moment, they thought they finally had their killer until they talked to that man and others and learned of his whereabouts at the time of the murder and determined he was not the killer after all. The hole that I had learned to live with in my heart, okay. it just opened and it bled and I was just overwhelmed. She and police had pinned their hopes on that DNA from the scene. But since that is no longer the case, they now know nothing about who did this. He could be African American, Hispanic, Polynesian, German. He could be anyone. Maggie says she has great faith in the cold case detectives, but would love other cold case experts from around the country to also take a look at this case just for a new perspective. Maggie is holding a Tulsa cold case day of caring at La Fortune Park tomorrow from 2 to 530. She invites families, police officers and lawmakers to attend. She also wants to create a cold case support group for all of the families in this area who are waiting on an arrest in a murder case. Lori Fulbright, Oklahoma Zone News on 6.